Hi, I'm Andrew Phillips, Head of the Biological Computation Group at Microsoft Research in Cambridge. And in this demo, we'll be presenting some of the work we've been doing on computer software for programming cells. So cells are the building blocks of life. And if we can program cells as effectively as we program digital computers, we can make fundamental breakthroughs in the treatment of disease, the development of sustainable agriculture, and the production of clean energy. In spite of this potential, there are still many challenges to overcome. First and foremost, programming cells is highly complex and error-prone, and powerful computer software is needed to accelerate further progress. So in this demo, I'll be presenting computer software for programming cells at three levels, DNA molecules, single cells, and cell colonies. At the level of DNA molecules, we've developed a programming language for designing molecular circuits made of DNA. Such circuits can be inserted into cells to monitor the health of the cell and to trigger appropriate responses, such as killing the cell if it becomes cancerous, without harming neighboring healthy cells. In collaboration with the lab of George Selig at the University of Washington and with Luca Cardelli in the Programming Languages Group, we've developed an approximate majority algorithm in DNA, which uh, determines the consensus between two populations and computes the majority in optimal time. So we can get very accurate correspondence between simulation of our computational models, shown in dashed lines, and actual experimental data, shown in solid lines, using the fills back parameter estimation tool. We can also reliably predict the behavior of the circuits in terms of the behavior of its components. So here I'm showing a demo of the software in action. We have a program denoting our consensus algorithm. When we compile that program, we can actually obtain the behavior uh, in terms of the interactions between DNA molecules. And we can simulate this behavior over time. In collaboration with the Constraint Reasoning Group, we've also used Z3, the Z3 theorem prover, to be able to detect errors in our circuit design. When we analyze a circuit, if an error is detected, Z3 reproduces a trace that shows how the error was obtained. At the level of single cells, we've, developed, we've been developing computer software for programming uh, genetic devices in terms of genes and proteins. In collaboration with the lab of Jim Hasselhoff at the University of Cambridge, We've actually developed a method for characterizing genetic parts in order to predict the behavior of systems or devices made of those parts more accurately. The method actually uses a reference uh, signal in order to compensate for uh, changes in environmental conditions such as changes in temperature to give more robust predictions. So here we see that our method can more accurately predict circuit dynamics in terms of the ability of a circuit to uh, take in a signal over time and uh, distance. At the level of cell colonies, We've been developing methods for simulating the interactions, physical interactions between neighboring cells as they grow and divide. So again, in collaboration with the Hasselhoff Lab at the University of Cambridge, we've developed a method that can actually simulate entire microcolonies of cells uh, in three dimensions using GPU, graphics processing unit technology. So here we see a simulation of four uh, cell colonies shown in four different colors as they grow adjacent to one another. And we can actually obtain good correspondence between experiments on the left and simulations on the right. If we do a simulation where we change the shape of the cell so they're now round instead of rod shaped, we obtain quite different boundaries between the cell colonies, you can see here. And it turns out that these predictions can actually be borne out by experiments. So by integrating uh, computational models at the level of molecules, cells, and cell colonies, we can actually obtain more accurate prediction of the behavior of cell programs. So we anticipate that software for programming cells could one day be at the heart of new industries and biotechnology. Thanks.